Odds are you probably have a Roku or Apple TV for streaming, or maybe you're crazy and you use the one that's built into your smart TV. But if you're one of the people that wants the Android TV experience, Nvidia's Shield Box is pretty much the best device you can use, and maybe you even have one already. People love the Shield. It's an incredibly versatile player that can handle pretty much anything you throw at it, and you can use it as a Plex server, and you can stream games with it using Nvidia's GeForce Now service. So Nvidia hasn't refreshed the Shield since 2017, but that changes right now. Because not only are we getting an updated enthusiast Shield TV Pro, but we're also getting a brand new, very capable Shield TV that looks like this. It's pretty crazy. And I gotta say, it's kinda great. It basically sits in line from the TV to a power source. It's not exactly a stick, it's more just like a real small black pipe. The new shields add a Tegra X1 Plus chip and they work with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. It also makes room for something Nvidia is calling AI upscaling, which you kind of have to see to believe. Basically, they figured out a way to improve the quality of upscaling from sources of 1080p and below. There's even a really cool built-in slider you can run across the screen to compare the picture quality between the source and the AI upscaling on it. I mean, just look between the left and right side, the left being the original source material and the right being the AI upscaled. It's kind of dramatic. And this all happens in real time. You don't know what's going on. Nvidia is also introducing a new remote for the Shield products. It's right here. It's got this really unique triangular design. It's backlit. It's oddly comfortable to hold, and you can even locate it using the Shield app on your smartphone. And of course, the Shield TV can also stream games using GeForce Now, which gives you access to over 400 PC games without the need for one of those heavy duty gaming rigs. And impressively enough, all of these features work on both versions of the Shield TV. The base model goes for $150, and the step-up Shield TV Pro, which is right here, is going to cost $200. In this enthusiast sort of model that they're calling, you get the ability to use Shield as a Plex server, two USB 3.0 ports, 3 gigs of RAM, and 16 gigs of internal storage. It also lets you play certain ported advanced Android games like Half-Life 2, Doom 3, and much more. So I've used the older Shield a bunch, and it's always been a worthy competitor to Apple 4K TV. And now that this new Shield supports all of the latest HDR formats and surround sound codecs across a ton of streaming apps, it's definitely worth considering, especially if you already love that Google Assistant ecosystem, which of course is built into both of these. So let me know what you think. Do you already own a Shield? And is this something you think is worth upgrading? I will say this, for the first time, I'm considering replacing my Apple 4K TV with one of these for sure.